the Mini Mook is a vehicle based on the Mini designed for the British Motor Corporation by Sir Alec Isagonis and John Shepard. The name comes from Mini a Euro the car with which the Mook shares many parts a Euro, and Mook, which is an archaic dialect term for donkey. The Mook has been marketed under various names including Austin Mini Mook, Morris Mini Mook and Leyland Mook. The initial design was a prototype for a light military vehicle in the style of the American Jeep, but its small wheels and low ground clearance made it impractical as an off-road vehicle. It was subsequently offered in a civilian version as a low-cost, easily maintained utility vehicle. The Moke finally achieved success as a beach buggy or Euro becoming a popular cult vehicle in the Algarve, Seychelles, Australia, the United States and many tropical resorts in the Caribbean. The original Moak used identical engine, transmission and suspension parts from the minivan. The first Moaks were only built at BMC's Longbridge, Birmingham plant. 14,518 Moaks were produced in the UK between 1964 and 1968, 26,000 in Australia between 1966 and 1981, and 10,000 in Portugal between 1980 and 1993 when production of the Moak ended. History, when Isagonis designed the Mini, he planned another vehicle to share the Mini's mechanical parts, but with a more rugged body shell. This was an attempt to take a portion of the military vehicle business from Land Rover. Isagonis had previously designed the Nuffield Guppy in a failed attempt to break into that market. By 1959, BMC had working prototypes of what was codenamed the Buckboard, later to become the Mini Moke. These prototypes were shown to the British Army as a parachute droppable vehicle, but poor ground clearance and a low-powered engine did not meet the most basic requirements for an off-road vehicle. Only the Royal Navy showed any interest at all in the buckboard a Euro as a vehicle for use on the decks of aircraft carriers. Early promotional material made much of the lightness of the vehicle, showing four soldiers traveling in the moak off-road then picking it up by its tubular bumpers and carrying it when its low ground clearance proved inadequate. In a further attempt to make something for the Army, a few four-wheel drive mooks were made by the addition of a second engine and transmission at the back of the vehicle with linked clutches and gear shifters. This did nothing for the ground clearance problems, and mechanical complications discouraged development beyond the prototype stage. This vehicle was called the 20, and was shown to the U.S. Army a Euro again with no success. Three of these vehicles were used by the Brazilian Army after being captured during the 1969 Rupununi Uni Rebellion from Guyanese rebels, who had crossed the border into Brazil. Equals British Moogs equals. Eventually BMC gave up on the idea of selling the Moog to the military, and in 1963 the decision was made to build a civilian version, targeting farmers and light commercial applications. Several prototypes were built in 1963, one of which is still known to exist in Pinner just outside London, England. The Moke was launched onto the British markets in 1964. The British Customs and Excise Department decided that the Moke should be classified as a passenger car rather than as a commercial vehicle, which meant that it attracted purchase tax, reducing sales in its intended commercial market. The Moke attracted attention as a cult vehicle as a result of the unprecedented success of the Mini and through media exposure in the popular television series The Prisoner, as well as in the traffic song Berkshire Poppies. Despite this, only about a tenth of the 14,500 British produced Mokes were sold in the United Kingdom. Mokes continued to be made in Britain until 1968. British made Mokes were fitted with a low end 848cc transverse inline 4 engine detuned to use low octane fuel. They used the same suspension, gearbox and 10-inch wheels as the standard Mini. In the initial offering, passenger seats, grab handles, heater, windscreen washer and a removable canvas top were all optional equipment delivered separately from the vehicle. Owners had to bolt these optional extras onto the vehicle themselves. The base price was par £405. The MKI Moogs had a single windscreen wiper and a floor-mounted headlight dip switch, and the only color available was spruce green. In 1967, the MK2 Moog added a passenger side wiper. Horn and headlight controls were moved on to the indicator stalk. These later British Moogs were also available in white. 
the John Player and Sun Cigarette Company ran a team of mokes in autocross competitions on grass tracks through 1968. These vehicles were equipped with rollover protection and used the Mini Cooper S 1275cc's engine. Equals Australian Mokes equals. The Moke was built in Australia from 1966 to 1981 where it was originally marketed as the Morris Mini Moke and from 1973 as the Leyland Moke. Initially Australian Mokes had the same 10-inch wheels as British Mokes and Mini Saloons, however in 1968 these were replaced by 13-inch wheels with longer rear trailing arms, which made them more practical for gentle off-road or beach use than the British version. There was also a widening piece welded to the wheel arches, front and rear to allow for wider tyres and rims. The solid metal seats of the British Mokes were replaced with tubular framed deck chair seats. This variant started with a 998cc engine which was switched in mid-production to 1098cc. In 1976, with the advent of new anti-pollution requirements, the locally manufactured 1098cc motor was replaced by an imported version of the 998cc motor with an air pump and exhaust gas recirculation, which had been developed to meet UK anti-pollution requirements. For a brief period around 1971, Leyland Australia produced a variant referred to in Leyland literature as Moke, special export, but commonly called a Californian, which had a 1,275cc engine and was fitted with side marker lamps and different rear lights to conform to USFM VSS standards. The fuel tank from the Austin Sprite or MG Midget was fitted beneath the rear load area, replacing the standard tank mounted in the left side box. The export Californian was readily recognizable by its roof and seats, trimmed in op-pop verve black and white tiger striped vinyl or orange barley vinyl, which looked rather like a fruit salad, and was briefly marketed to the flower power culture in the United States. The name Californian, and the 1275cc motor were resurrected in 1977 for Australian market moogs with denim seat covers, more comfortable seats spoked wheels and complex tubular bumpers. Australian mokes were exported to many countries, and pioneered large-scale exports of Australian-made vehicles. Leyland Australia made much of these exports in its advertising. The use of Australian-made mokes by the Israeli army attracted controversy and media attention. From 1975, a pickup version of the moke was produced, with a 1.45 x 1.50 meter drop sided bed which protruded behind the back of the vehicle, and a cloth top over the cab area. At least two four wheel drive MOOC prototypes were manufactured by Leyland Australia in the late 1970s, but unlike the British version, these used just one engine. Leyland were planning to market this version, but MOOC production in Australia ended in 1981 and all that remains of the project is one of the prototypes which is now owned by an enthusiast in Western Australia and a modified differential crown heel with gar teeth cut in the side to drive the rear tail shaft, in the personal collection of a Melbourne Mini specialist. In 1977 a 1275cc Cooper S engined MOOC was entered into the Singapore Airlines London Sydney Marathon. The car was driven over 30,000 kilometers over 30 days and finished in 35th place. Equals Portuguese Mokes equals. As Australian Moke production wound down, manufacturing was transferred to British Leyland subsidiary in Portugal, which made 8,500 of the Californian Mokes in the seat of Ally MA plant between 1980 and 1984. In 1984, the production was transferred to the Vendas Novas plant. Initially these mokes were identical to late model Australian mokes. Very soon, however, they were altered to use then current British production mini saloon components, including the standard length mini rear trailing arms and the 12 in wheels with modern low profile tyres, which the saloon had acquired during the mokes absence from Europe. In 1990, British Leyland sold the moke name to Kagiva Euro a motorcycle manufacturer in Bologna, Italy. Production continued in Portugal until 1993, when Kagiva transferred the tooling to their factory in Italy with the intention of restarting production in 1995 a Euro, which they never did. Since Kagiva did not own the Mini name, the 1500 cars they built were sold simply as Mokes. 
This brought the total production run of MOOCs and MOOC derivatives to about 50,000. Construction and maintenance. The MOOC's construction is simple. The body mainly consists of two box section pontoons, or side boxes running between the front and rear wheels, and include extensions of that from the back of the car all the way up to the front. These are connected by the floor pan, the firewall and a sturdy lateral torque box that runs under the front seats and stiffens the body in torsion. The left-hand pontoon contains the fuel tank. The right hand is a compartment for the battery and a small lockable storage area. The 1972 Moke, special export, commonly referred to as a Californian Moke, has an Austin Sprite MG midget type fuel tank fitted beneath the rear floor area to meet the American FMVSS safety requirements of the time. Standard Mokes of the same period and later Californian Mokes use the conventional tank mounted in the left side box. Later Portuguese Mokes have additional lockable storage space at the rear of the vehicle. The optional cloth canopy has plastic side windows and is held up by a thin tubular structure that can easily be removed when not needed. In later versions this was replaced with a more solid roll cage. The windscreen can easily be unbolted and removed if not needed. There are just three curved panels in the moke, the bonnet, the firewall and the floor, each of which is only curved in one direction. This makes it relatively straightforward to reproduce and replace moke body components without access to sophisticated machine tools. Because the Moke's A-Series engine, manual gearbox and suspension are identical to those of a standard Mini, most spare parts are still readily available. The Moke has no chassis, so the wheels, brake assemblies and suspension are attached to front and rear subframes bolted straight onto the monocoque shell, just as with a standard Mini. Mokes tend to require much structural maintenance if they are to stay in good running order. Equals kit cars and lookalikes equals. The true Mini Moke was never available as a kit car, but because the basic Mini parts are easily available, many companies have made copies of the vehicle, the Anderson Mini Cub, the Deltec Nomad, the Gecko, the Hobo, the Hustler, the Gemini, the Mini Scout, the Mule, the Navajo, the Ranger, the Mini Scamp, the Stimson, the Warrior and the Yak. Island Mokes the Moke gained much popularity as a beach buggy and was often rented to tourists in tropical island resorts such as Mauritius and Barbados. The car also found a market in Macau, where it became the official transport for the local police. The Happy Renter Car Company also owned 43 of the vehicles, which were made available for hire until February 2006 when they were outlawed by the new car safety laws. The Macau branch of the car rental company Avis ran a fleet of Moke look-alike CUBs until July 2007. The CUB, although it resembled the Moke, was designed by Charles Anderson of Liverpool, England and used a 1275cc version of the A-Series engine. On Magnetic Island, off Australia's Queensland coast, Moke Magnetics still operate a large fleet of Australian-made Mokes for hire to tourists. Mini Mokes can still be seen around the town of Victoria, Seychelles, as it is still a popular mode of transport for tourists and can seat four people in relative comfort from island point to island point. In the early 1970s, a Mini Moke was the first motor vehicle to be driven on Pitcairn Island and thereby became the most remote vehicle on Earth. It was chosen because it was the only off-road vehicle that could be lifted by the island's only crania Euro there being no dock or airstrip at Pitcairn. However, the rough terrain and heavy rainfall proved too much for the moke and it soon broke down. Eventually, a second and later a third moke was sent to the island, and by cannibalizing the three for spares, the island's sole vehicle remained running until at least 1988. Railway Mokes The moke was identified as an ideal conversion for use in railway service. Two differing modifications were made. One using backing plates and spacers the other a more conventional road rail system. Tasmanian government railways ran a fleet, estimated at 16, of hard-topped mooks for inspection and maintenance service on its narrow-gauge network. These mooks had slightly modified suspension, and used spacers and backing plates so that the wheels sat on and tracked on 3 feet 6 in gauge track similarly, the federal government, through either its Commonwealth Railways or Australian National Railways Commission, 
ran at least two similarly set up mokes on its Central Australia Railway. At least one of these mokes also operated on the isolated Air Peninsula network. George E. Moss and Company developed a road rail system based on a Western Australian government railways design which was fitted to at least two MOOCs a Euro one used by the district engineer, Perth, and the other by the district engineer, Northam. Future MOOCs, BMW owned Mini has revealed a planned vehicle named after the MOOC. According to Motor Trend, the new MOOC seems to possess Jeep and micro pickup truck like qualities and is aimed at US buyers. On December 16, 2009, Mini revealed the Beachcomber concept, which draws heavily on Moke styling, while being packed with modern equipment. The Beachcomber made its public debut at the Detroit Motor Show in January 2010. The new MOKE, in 2012 Moke International teamed up with designer Michael Young, Tree Automotive and Sycar Engineering to release a new version of the Moke. The new Moke has kept its old look but features modern day comforts and improved components. The new Moke featured in the Thai Motor Expo in December 2014 and is expected to release in Thailand, Australia, the Caribbean, the Seychelles and Mauritius, Egypt, Greece, and New Zealand in early to mid-2015. References Further reading, Adams, Keith. The Unofficial Austin Rover Web Resource External links, MOOCs produced in Africa, particularly those in Zimbabwe, Austin Memories A Euro History of Austin and Longbridge, AMC Cub The AMC Cub A MOOC Style Kit Car